Conditional formatting can be used to highlight in color data that you want to draw attention to. We'll now look at how to use this in order to highlight specific text. Turn now to page 13 and then select column C as shown. Now click on the Conditional Formatting button, hover on Highlight Cells Rules and then click on Text that Contains as shown in your coursebook. In the dialog box that's now displayed, you should edit the word title with the word you as shown. Now click on the down arrow and select yellow fill with dark yellow text as shown. Click on OK and then click away to see the effect of the rule you've just applied. I'm sure you'll agree that conditional formatting is a very useful feature in Excel and one which you may like to take the time to experiment with further. Hover over the icons in the placeholder to find that the bottom right one is Insert Video as shown. Click on it now to display the Insert Video dialog box. As you can see, you can use this box to select videos from a number of sources. The file we want is in your folder, so click on the Browse button in the From a File box as shown and navigate to your folder now. Hover over the Welcome to Pittman video as shown to read the screen tip. Although the video clip is only 20 seconds long, it is almost 6 megabytes. And if we insert it, the file will become very large, even if we compress the media. So click on the file to select it, and this time, instead of clicking on the Insert button, click on the arrow to its right to display a drop-down menu as shown. Here you will find an option to link to the file, which instead of copying the file into the presentation, will save the location of the file and make a link to that location. Click on Link to File as shown and turn to page 25.